So, on the second travel trip of my gap year, I headed up the east coast of Australia for eight weeks. From crazy islands to long overnight buses to meeting the best people, I'm so honoured to take you guys along on the adventure. Good morning! So, we woke up to free vegan pancakes at the Dingo's Hostel, and then it was time for our Fraser Island experience. They basically put you in a car full of random people, and you live with them for three days, you camp together, you cook together, you DJ together, and then you just go to the most gorgeous island ever, and you just drive along the beach. And trust me guys, we bonded. This group of people at the start, I was like, oh my god, there's a massive age range. The oldest guy was 33. Three, me and Kerry were only 18. So you kind of worry like how it's gonna go. All right, we're swaying for the ferry now. But I'm so excited for you to just watch this vlog and how we just bonded and kind of got so close over the three days. The vlog starts kind of awkward with hardly any clips of them because I was too awkward to film, but eventually we got there. This was the absolute highlight of my trip. I mean, look at this rainforest walk we just stopped off to do. We were in a big tag team of vehicles following the front vehicle with one of the tour guides in it. Guys, I'm so happy with our car. Our car is like, the best group ever. We had the tunes going. The majority Brits. We've got two French. Yeah, everyone's so nice. Now, obviously, when you first meet, it's kind of awkward and you're, you're trying to get the banter, trying to get to know people. So me and Kerry elected ourselves as DJs. There was no service on the island, but Kerry has so many songs downloaded. She just naturally is the DJ. Hey guys, so I'm just switching to the nice camera, but we are at literally the most gorgeous lake I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this. This island is full of hidden gems. Lake Mackenzie is one of them. It's so cool. <laughs> go in and it is just the clearest water I think I've ever seen. So excited! <laughs> Honestly this whole trip so far has just been amazing. I love our group, I love our car, I've got the tunes going. I haven't really been vlogging because you know you can't really in a car if people don't know you're vlogging. Let's go in, let's go into Lake Mackenzie. And we've seen a dingo, we saw a dingo in the car park and it literally just looked like a cute little dog. We chilled here for about an hour maybe and we met up again with Lisa who is an angel. We met her in our room the night before we left for Fraser. The sand is so soft and white. It's just surreal. Like I kept looking around, looking at the gradient of the water, like how am I seeing this with my own eyes? <laughs> this is the nicest lake ever. Stunning. I am cute. Yay. And then we just sunbathed. And I've been making a conscious effort here to wear sunglasses. I am not burning my eyes again. We then drove towards camp and had a quick stop off to have a cider. Fraser is definitely a big party if you want it to be. <laughs> How the hell is Ava here? Ava, what? <laughs> it's such a small world. Yeah. Look at this. Yes, Kerry, go see. We camped on Fraser Island with the group. And this whole block of tofu has my name on it. That is for me and Kerry to share this whole block. We are rich in tofu tonight. This is Gordon Ramsay for tonight. Tofu, we're all having just fucking. <laughs> and we had to cook a meal using the ingredients given and a little recipe thing. <laughs> A few camps down, we found a little shed where there was an aux cord and you can play some music. It looks way cooler in this video than it actually was, but that did become a bit of a party shed. Oh, and it's hilarious in the morning. Everyone who wants to drive gets breathalyzed. There was one guy in the other car who was 10 times over the legal limit and still wanted to drive. Like, no. <laughs> Here is just an example of a lunch that we had. So we're just on our way to the toilet. And we've been informed that there are two giant huntsman spiders on the walls of the toilets. So we'll see how this goes, guys. <laughs> but it's hair, I assure you. Ooh. And then we headed to the champagne pools. Hey guys, so we're just about to go in the champagne pool. It's a bit like the fairy pools we went in in Nusa, but bigger and not as dangerous. They look like it's dangerous. And our group are all somewhere over there. But they're the best group ever. Today is so hot, I feel like I'm physically melting. I'm just sat here in my bedroom looking at this. Like, why can't I be back there right now? Oh! It was just insane, like look how clear the water is. We just sat and chatted with everyone, got to know them even more. Oh, 
We are now at a tea tree oil lake, which is really similar to the Everglades, so me and Carrie are pros. And then my GoPro ran out of battery, so I didn't even film one of the best moments of this whole trip, and that was floating down Eli Creek in giant inflatable donuts. It was incredible, I did it like three times. And then we just found a bunch of little kids and we're playing catch with them. Great times. Dazza, our awesome tour guide, took us to this shipwreck. The guy flew the drone up again, so look at this awesome shot. And then us young ones did an act of service and we helped amp up Uncle Tom's and Scott's Instagram pages with a photo shoot. Literally so funny. Knees And then we got back to camp, and by this time, we were starting to become a family. Oh, okay, so this is Ben from the other car, and Ben was eating an insect. <laughs> Tour guide Dazza was telling him that there's a sugar sack that you can find that's really yummy in an insect. But he ate the stinger, so good one, Ben. <laughs> We cooked up dinner for day two and I was given the most random vegan ingredients. It's hilarious. Like, what? Falafel, baked beans and couscous? Yes. And then the rest of the group had a potato salad, a salad and burgers, I think. That night, we went to the other campsite and met the next group of people doing our tour. Very, very fun times. This is me and Kerry standing on benches with mum, dancing to Queen because she loves Queen. Let's be the I'm gonna make a super stunning man out of you. Good morning. So we made some toast on the camping stove and I had some muesli with soya milk and then I just sat with the fam. The tunes were going, we were loving life, it was our last day. We properly had the family sorted then. Uncle Antoine and Auntie Julie, Uncle Tom, Scott who's kind of like our big brother slash cousin and then mum and dad who are the married couple and us being 18 with the kids. Never doubt my mind we couldn't. So well done to you. Woo. Oh look. Hi. Have you guys just come back from Fraser? Or are you going or going. You're going. Oh, mm -hmm. you're gonna have the best time. It's so good. You literally just come back. We're back. Hey. 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 <laughs> Yay, it's just everyone on their phone. Um, um, cheers. Hi, Ready? Do it again? Okay. Mm. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I've just been swimming with the group and we've just been allocated a new room. So, welcome to the crib. And I've just met three people in this room and they're all so lovely. And one girl I actually stumbled upon in Noosa and she actually recognized me from my channel, which is crazy. And she found me through my travel vlogs. And it's so weird cause she knew I was going to Australia and now we're here in Australia. And I've not only met her in Noosa, but she's here again. That night it was so cute. We had like a giant farewell reunion dinner. Obviously it's intense being with people for three days and we all looked kind of manky for the three days. So we all kind of dressed up and went out for dinner. Come on dad. Then everyone got a bit tipsy and we went to the park Whoa! and we had a good time. That went even yeah, His dad demonstrating his gymnastic skills. I think he felt a bit threatened by Kerry, you know? You can't be shown up by your daughter. Yeah, oh my God, I just love the fam. Are you ready to see it? Are you ready? Uh, impressive show. <laughs> oh God, what a story this was. So, okay, we went in the hostel pool. Um, things happened. Some people were fully skinny dipping in the pool. I just jumped in in my bra and underwear. <laughs> Good times. 
but yes, Fraser Island was definitely Love Island for a lot of people. That's what I see. It is. Like, it's very nice to pick up. No, I don't think it is. Okay, so this is Matt. Matt's amazing. Matt, what do you want to say to um, the thousand people watching? Without oh God, a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know what to say. Wait, pause it. I'm scared. No. <laughs> what should I say? You can say you want. Like a life tip. Yeah, a life tip. Um, so okay, so Matt is a, a primary school teacher. Yeah. He's been here for like a year. Yeah. He's so nice. We love him. And what is your life tip? Um. I don't know, have fun. Have fun. And there's Ava, who we keep bumping into. There she is. Yes. So guys, mean? this is Uncle Tom. No, I'm not Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle we Tom. love Uncle Tom. Um, yes. Uncle Tom, what would you like to say to the thousands of people watching? Um, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this? Um, basically, <laughs> fuck all. <laughs> so you can't swear, Oh, sorry. Apologies. Uncle Tom has been a bit rude there. Um, Rainbow Beach has been amazing. Talking Rainbow Beach. Rainbow Beach is a little bit dead, but the Fraser Island experience has been. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. That's it. Phenomenal. That's it. I'm the best driver. Who's the best driver? Kerry was the critic in the car. And, and you can see Matt right now. He's Matt ran away without someone in the car. Well, I might have run someone over, but I didn't get stuck in the sands. <laughs> hey, no, 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 don't blame no, no, anyone no, no, else, because no, no, that wouldn't no. have happened to me. No, 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 no. So, oh, Kerry, what's your verdict? Um, oh, he could drive. He took his own. Matt ran someone over. He didn't. He nearly did. He nearly did. And he was part of our team anyway, so he should have been in the car. So, Kerry, what is the verdict? <laughs> I had to be sober just so you could all go and enjoy yourself. <laughs> and this is Dad, everyone. Hello, we Dad. We love Dad. <laughs> Dad, what would you like to say to thousands of people right now? <laughs> but it's actually been the best trip ever. Should we go get Mum? This is Mum. She's just doing her hair right now. Isn't she just gorgeous? We love her. <laughs> Um, mum, what would you like to say? What's, what's who, was the best, who was the best share? driver, Mum? Some wisdom. Best driver was Dad. Of even course. though he tried to Son run Scott over. I didn't try to run Scott over. And nearly not you really just You just did, it just happened. It just happened. Any wisdom? Up. Wisdom to share. Oh, and Julie nearly fell out. Wisdom to share. Oh, I've got one. Can you stop talking? I'm trying to think. Married couple. Cut out, yeah. And um, wisdom to share. If you're ever nervous about doing something, just jump in. Because we've had the best time. We've had the best time. Despite me being an absolute petrified star and join all these young people. But we've had the best time. We really have. Yeah, like even though there's been like quite an age gap in our group. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just work. We've just worked. Yeah. It's just jolting. We've been the best group. 100%. Like that's not even a question. We've been the best. God! Hello, Scott. Well, Jay didn't tell us that she was so famous. A bit of a big deal, obviously, but she's done well over the trip. Little sis here, who's taller than me, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's got, it's got, yeah, he's actually six foot four. I'm six foot four, wearing heels right on. Yeah. But I've just, yeah. as you can see, just the thongs are on today. Yeah, thongs are. Are you back? Yeah, yeah, for you guys back on me. I do have a thong on as well, obviously. But. Yeah, Hello. Can you entertain him? Yeah. Oh, oui. Oh, really? Oh, uh, my brother. My brother is um, Anton. 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 Is my brother. Um, <laughs> half brother. My mother is with his father. Uh, I wasn't okay, but this at, at first, but he's okay now. He's okay. Uh, we have an American John. Yeah. This is American John. We love nice American John. John. What would you like to say to any Americans watching right now? Be better. <laughs> <laughs> be more British. Yeah, yeah. Just be more like these guys. You know. Yeah. Yeah. This is Jenny. Hi. Jenny's lovely. Jenny, what do you want to say? Jade has been so much fun in the last few days. Oh, <laughs> We've had the best time. We've had the best time. The best time. So if you ever get the chance to do Fraser Island in Australia, do it. But your group won't be as good as ours, will it? Ever. No. Sorry. We've had 
so much fun. And this is Antoine. Uncle Antoine? From Normandy. Yes, from Normandy. Oh, I am looking here, but finally it's here. Yes. <laughs> he's my cool uncle. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's amazing. I am the best uncle in the world. Wait, we've got a handshake, haven't we? We need to show him a handshake. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. I don't this is know amazing. Okay, ready? Two, Are you ready? Two. Are you ready? Hope so. Hope I so. hope so. <laughs> Hey! Okay, Kerry, can you show us your Greyhound ticket? <laughs> They're all off now. No. Bye. Hey, there it is. Oh. So they're leaving now. Uncle Antoine is leaving. Auntie Judy, she's leaving. This is how we're seeing them off. This is it. This is it. This is, this is, this is, this is it. Well, I'm going to see you tomorrow. These don't look very soft. Chilling in the hammock. This is a very bright light. Um, I miss everyone so much already. Like I literally just miss him so much. What an incredible trip for his husband.